These are definitely the mornings worth waking up to. Beautiful sunrise. A little crispy in the morning. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. So this morning our goal is to find some pelicans and moose. So we just swung into Oxbow, which usually has a ton of pelicans, but we didn't see any. Uh, we did see a moose way off of a uh, river going across a bridge back there. And now we're gonna get closer to the river up here and see what we can find. But right now the Tetons are still covered up in smoke, which is unfortunate. But that's just how it goes. And then after we're done looking for wildlife, then we're gonna go for a nice hike. And hopefully we don't get smoked out on the hike. What'd you find, Brian? There's fish in the puddle. See? How did they get there? Weird. That's a dead one. But yeah. Huh. Had to be all the rain. So the water level is up super high compared to last year. It's I'm kind of flooding into the parking lot area here, so I don't know if that's from the recent rainfalls or if there's just more water running through the river, which is kind of weird because the lakes are really low, so I'm not really sure how that works. There was like a big osprey that flew across here. We still haven't seen any pelicans. The lighting is awesome and the fog is awesome as well, so if there was something, these would be amazing shots. So last year we had really good luck in this area. It was our last day here. It was our last ditch effort to find a bull moose. And we were at the end of this path and we were about to turn around it to leave and I see a weird looking branch buried way back in the forest. And it happened to be a bull moose I was laying down. So hopefully we can find something out here. Even, you know, a female moose or whatever because we've been getting skunked all day so far on animals. Today was definitely a bummer morning. We really didn't see any wildlife whatsoever which is interesting because all of these places were really lit up with wildlife last year. So I don't know if it's the season. I understand animals move a lot but these all were like prime locations and they still should be prime locations for the animals this year. So I'm not really sure what's going on. We're trying to figure out if maybe the smoke is pushing animals away. And if they're trying to find better places that aren't as smoky, which again would be tough to find, but we'll try again for the animals tomorrow and see. And now we're gonna go and try hiking up in the Smoky Mountains. Catch 22s of trying to hike and do wildlife photography all on the same day. Because you get up early for the wildlife and then you're gonna be late to the trailheads and all the parking's taken. So, yeah, 
you have to be flexible or you have to choose one or the other. And this is just the beginning of the parking. So we just flipped it around at the trailhead. So just wait, there is a lot of parking and every single spot is taken. Which means if you're also looking for a solitude up at the lakes, that's not gonna happen in a national park. So it's always good to curb your expectations. So you would think there'd be a spot right there, right? No, nope. no. Nope. There's a car that pulled in. There's a lot of funky spots that people have made work. So just goes to show again how crazy busy it is. But it's also 10 a.m. So we knew that this was gonna be a huge gamble doing wildlife this morning. And you can usually tell with a lot of these trailheads too, like parking goes out onto the street and yeah, it's just crazy. I think I was looking at that spot and it got jacked. Oh. Should have taken it. Another example of really funky parking is right up here on the left. Everyone pulls in. It looks like you have a nice gap. And oh, then we park there. Oh, wait. some nope, weirdo we parked like that. Who does that? It's interesting too. Watching people driving back, we can see the disappointment on people's faces, so we already knew. We're like, yeah, probably not gonna happen. This whole area specifically says no parking. So that's what that sign is right there, is no parking. All right, surprisingly, we did find one parking spot. Insane. It's like a mile away from the trailhead, but it is what it is. I guess now it'll be a 12 mile round trip hike. But we are going up to Surprise and Amphitheater Lakes, which is right up there. Roughly 3,000 feet elevation in five-ish miles. Add on the parking lot now at six-ish miles, one direction. And it should be pretty nice up there. Actually, being this close to the mountain, it doesn't seem as smoky as it did from far away. So, overall should be pretty good. It'll be busy, but what can you expect? Apparently, we just missed a black bear, which puts our wildlife game at zero for like 28 today. Dang it, it's just not our day for wildlife. What do you think? Pretty cool. Worth the effort. We did it. Okay, here we are at Amphitheater Lake. It's just shy of 9,700 feet. And actually for the amount of cars that were in the parking lot, it's surprisingly 
not too busy. There's definitely little groups of people here and there spread out around the lake, but it's not super loud and crazy, which is awesome. But now we're gonna go scramble up into that area and see what the views are like up there. We're gonna go up and over this ridge so that we can have good views of the Tetons and I think Delta Lake. Whereas the other ridge, you have more views of the valley. So we definitely wanna see more of the Tetons, not the valley. All right, we just finished up that hike up to an amphitheater and Surprise Lake. And I would say that was a pretty awesome hike overall. What would you say? Yeah, it was beautiful. And it was almost exactly like our Alpine back in Washington in a lot of ways. So it was fun seeing similarities between different regions and same Alpine wilderness, really. Just remember this is at higher elevation. So if you're not used to elevation, that will make it more difficult. And the heat, during the day will also make it more difficult so try to get here early and you'll probably get a better parking spot as well if you get here early bring lots of water bring some food some snacks and then have something nice and cold ready for you when you get back down to the car yeah pro tip we do um practically frozen as close as we can to uh frozen fruit so we'll do peaches nectarines grapes those are awesome things to come back to